I just pick up something on the way to school. You're setting him oh. up for failure. Ben, don't forget to take goodbye, mother. Oh, no. See, this is why oh, men no. are tainted oh, no. and jaded now. Yeah. Your mother was uncompromising all of the evidence of that. He's not a parent today, so. This week's episode of Two Freckled Friends is brought to you by the United States Postal Service. I saw a cute postal worker drop off a package at my door earlier today. Unfortunately for them, it wasn't my package. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm in a bag. Hold on, crackhead is outside yelling. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl, Allie. And it's Brooke, and my postal workers are not cute, nor do they deliver my mail to the right place. <laughs> Ever. Nor do I get my mail even in a timely manner. My mail will sit at the post office legit for three months, and they will take bets. They will take bets on whether or not I will go to pick it up. If your postal workers are also on the struggle bus like ours, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel by clicking on that red button as well as tapping on the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest notifications as to when we drop new episodes, AKA packages, wink, wink, right here on Two Freckled Friends. This week, hmm, <laughs> we're watching a curveball. Oh yes. Showing the curve. Some of you probably haven't seen it in a very long time, and I'm really excited about it. Brooke, tell them what we're watching. I haven't seen this movie in at least 25 years. Today, we are watching 1995 Disney's Man of the House, starring heartthrob of all 90s girls, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. I wish he was a little bit taller and a baller, because the face was a 10. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. Not only does this have JTT, you have two legends in the industry. Farrah Fawcett, who plays Jonathan Taylor Thomas's mother, and one of the comedic legends, Chevy Chase. Who's also a dick. If you're new to us, what we're going to do is Brooke and I will watch Man of the House. We will give our individual thoughts and from those thoughts, we will come up with an official freckle score. You good over there? Yeah. Are you in snack land? Almost. Man, you stay loud. Without further ado, the Walt Disney live action family classic from 1995, Man of the House. Let's roll it! Yeah, what you got? Come on, when you... When you no, no, friend. no, because I actually popped popcorn and it burned, so I'm a little bummed. <laughs> eat snacks how come when you eat a snack it's burned because that's the story of my life because you had a bad day we're gonna do three two one play and then you tell me when pictures for walt disney pictures comes up okay that's fine three two one play You can't be loading. Castle, Walt Disney Pictures. Five years ago, my dad left. He needed his own space. Hold on, who's in the car with him? I think the secretary. Uh oh. He left Barrow Fawcett? You the lie. Devil is a lie. My mom was really upset. But I told her we still had each other. I'd look after her as long as I live. Where is this in like Maine? San Fran? Maine. Washington State. Quill. George Washington. Uh, Quill. You said that already. How come he driving a Beamer? She driving a Chevy station wagon? Oh, that's a lot of eyes. We moved into a small loft department downtown. Downtown? What's so small? I see high ceilings. I see open concept. She turned it into a home in no time. Where's the kitchen? That looks like Brooklyn. But why'd they leave the house? Because her man left. Next to the water? Her man left. She couldn't afford it no more? She's a single mom now. I like the water though. After a while, she got over my father leaving. I did too. Eventually, she started dating again. But they were all jerks. <laughs> and eventually, we would go back to the way things were. Just the two of us. Sounds like an Oedipus complex. I liked it that way. I'm sure you did. Just the two of us. 
We started making a collage from things we found on the beach. We've been doing it now for almost five That's years. So short. Then two weeks ago, the worst thing in the world happened. My mom told me she wanted to get married again. You'd think by now she would have learned her lesson. Oedipus. I don't care how old I get. I'll never understand women. The federal district court of the state of Washington is now in session. Oh, I guess they're still in Washington then. Francis James Renda, do you have anything to say to this court? Okay. There's no hard feelings in spite of the outcome. Wish him a lot of luck in his future. Why well, he sound like he's from like New York? He just has salami. That I cannot do. Prosecuting attorney would like to know if the defendant's remarks are in the nature of a threat. A harmless old man. Mm, you well, sound good. like you whack people on the side. Look who thinks he's the Ebola virus. <laughs> Is the judgment of this court that you serve not less than 50 years? Oh. We'll appeal for more piece of garbage off the street. This way, please. You think you're pretty tough, don't you? Things have a way of coming around. If you're one of those things that comes around, I'm gonna step on you like a bug. Look at this little dimple. Frank's son, Joey. Get out of here. We got more important things to talk about. I'm gonna get this guy. Thought I'd bring my stuff over around noon tomorrow. Is that okay? Sure. No, I guess I've just been thinking about you moving in with me and Ben. You're not having second thoughts, are you? No. It's ben. Ben doesn't want me to move in? No. I guess he's just not comfortable with the idea yet. You've cultivated that environment. So why move in already if your kid is uncomfortable? This is all about sex, isn't it? <laughs> Oedipus complex. Women reach her sexual peak in their thirties. Oh, Lord. that's not true. Donna, you. That's not true. <laughs> Youth and beauty, man. I mean, that's the ticket. I'm getting rid of the television set. If she's supposed to be in her thirties, her thirties ain't our thirties. No. I think it'd be a good idea for you to have an adult male around the house as a role model. It's not like your dad. The secretary's about a hundred years old. But what if he turns out to be a serial killer? Oil on our heads and acid. What is up with this kid? He's in love with his mom. Well, so for some reason things don't work out, he'll go back to his place. We'll go back to the way we were. Did you know he actually irons his jeans? Yes. My mom used to make me iron my jeans. Compulsion like that generally indicates a deeper psychosis. For a 12-year-old, very active mind. I heard it on Geraldo. So the television's raising your child? Like, what is going on here? Tablets raise people's kids now. <laughs> I'd like to have a husband again. Is he wearing a seashell necklace? Man, that's so 90s. And if it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for me. I don't know how I feel about that. I love Jack, but you're the most important man in my life. So if it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for me. But you're allowing this man that you love to move into your place. If you were in love with this man, would you be in love with a man that you feel would not be a good fit for your son? In terms of cultivating right. the environment? Yeah, that's you know a good what point. Mean? What kind of judgment are you making? Very good point. But that's where we keep all the stuff we collect on the beach. It's important stuff. It'll be fine if we put it somewhere else. Where is the kitchen? Have you seen a stove? How come they didn't move in with him? Hello? He's the attorney. I'm Hello? very confused. Hello. Thanks, Benny. I appreciate it. He offered to move in with her to accommodate her feelings and with Ben being in the environment. I meant to tell you he hates to be called Benny. Thanks, Ben. You're setting me up for failure. Is the coochie that good, Chevy? It's Farrah Fawcett. The coochie is that good. Someone's in the kitchen with I'm oh. Jack, gonna be in there all night? Five. That little bitty, oh, look at that shower. That's a New York-esque shower. one bathroom? Told y'all. Oh, Diana, won't you bow? Ow! <laughs> the kitchen? If I can put you on that side, my dear, and grab the other bits. There we go. It's no building, Jack. Sometimes the water just cuts right out. <laughs> What are you doing? Ben locked me out of the bathroom. What is all this stuff? Ooh, let's play Name That Prescription. Ooh, what you got? He smells bad and he's a wimp. Yeah, it is a lot of Benadryl. I can't find any of my stuff! Lord! Ooh, and he's all covered in soap? Let's talk a little bit about the sexual function changes that occur during the menopausal time frame. Excuse me. Can't resist a pretty girl. You know what I mean, buddy? I'm 11. I hate girls. Cooties, right? Yeah, right, cooties. It's not gone. I put it in the cabinet on the floor. <laughs> on the floor? Because Jack's taller, so yeah. it makes more sense for his stuff to be up in the medicine chest. We all have to make adjustments around here. Oh, so he just doesn't want a father because he's afraid of being hurt again. See you in the morning, Benny. Oedipus Complex. See you in the morning, Ben. 
Oh, Mom, could I talk to you for a minute, please? Ben said the thought of us being in the same bed would be psychologically damaging to him. Oh, come on! Oedipus complex. And you letting him go to that length? If he's never stayed over, then why did you let him move in? I would never allow my son to tell me who I can and cannot have in my adult bed when I pay for all of your shit? You ungrateful, ungrateful bastard. Good night. Good night, sweetheart. That shows you he loves her. You a good dude. How come we can't come find on. dudes like this? You know what? You should travel an hour to come see me. Look, Inconvenience I'm to be yourself like for some little got a man at home. Some oh, pest. Lordy. Well, on second thought, go to the couch. Go to the couch. Go to the couch. This sucks. Yep. Yep. I'm never gonna get any sleep. Couch, floor. Poor guy. We love her. <laughs> oh. Oh. What are you doing? Why are you awake? I heard a noise. What was it? Trying to get to the bathroom when I tripped on that darn skateboard. The bathroom's over there, Jack. Have you forgotten already? Oh, oh yeah, no. no. This would be oh, no. There it is. Yeah, you're giving that child too much power. She cultivated this environment. Good night, mother. Good night, sweetheart. Too much power. Send his little ass back up in that bed. You need to take your ass to sleep. Some little, little eggs. Where's the lid? Turn it off. Oh, there's the kitchen. Damn, that's the kitchen. That kitchen was not there in the opening scene. Morning, Ben. For some reason, I didn't sleep well last night, so I got up early to make breakfast. What is all this stuff anyway? Poached eggs, a slice of ham, on English muffins, hollandaise sauce, most of which is on the counter. Oh, okay. Caviar. Caviar? And how about the word recycle? Put the eggshells over here then, no problem. That one smells good. Jack's trying to kill us with animal fat. Ben and I usually just have a little granola and yogurt sliced in the morning. Okay, that's what y'all normally do. But he made breakfast today. There you go, cutie. Whip up some granola and sliced fruit and some yogurt. How's that? I just pick up something on the way to school. You're setting him oh. up for failure. Ben, don't forget to take goodbye, mother. Oh, no. See, this is why men no, are tainted no. and jaded now. Your mother was uncompromising, although the evidence of that is not apparent today. So. No. This is what's wrong with y'all's no. badass sons now and why they can't no. be men. Because this is what you do. This is what you bring into the world. And then they end up angry. They angry at you because they angry at their daddy. And then they angry at everybody else for the rest of their I life. And we have to go and deal with so that as grown ass women. I'm not dealing make with your bad ass son as a grown Bitch, ass you woman. Check it twice. This is what y'all's fault. Well y'all grown women, no baby your sons, to baby your infinite. sons, spoil your sons, and we have to deal with it. That's not my job. That's not my job. My job is to take oh, care of myself and meet a man who's fully a man, not a man child. Oh my it's not God. my job. Hey Monroe, how you doing? My mom's boyfriend took over the kitchen and I walked out in protest. First thing they do is take over the bathroom and the kitchen. My advice to you is to get rid of this guy immediately. The longer your mom lives with a guy, the harder it is to get rid of him. What's the combination? 38, 24, 36. What a winning hand. Hi. Boy, it's tight in there. I'm on Baronski, by the way. Some big guys were making fun of me. They stuffed me in there. I'm an Indian guide. What's an Indian guide? The YMCA Indian Guides program designed to foster understanding and companionship between father and son. Do the fathers have to dress like Indians, too? My dad wears a huge headdress with a lot of feathers on it. Let's go. And how does one join this club, Norm? Our tribe's always looking for new members. Does say pick up celery sticks? This Indian guy thing could be the solution to my problem. I don't get it. Jonathan does have great hair. Beautiful hair. Pantene Pro V Flexible Hold Hairspray. The best feel. No competition. Are you sure he wants to do this? I didn't hear Well, that. no wonder he wants to have sex with Farrah. She's playing with a blowtorch. He said he thought it'd be a good way for the two of you to get to know each other. What tribe of Indians in all of history ever made furry refrigerator magnets? What is she making? <laughs> Is that a shovel with bullet holes in it? Na, 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 na. You ain't slick. Moms are for it. Dads adore it. As chief of the Minotaur, two new members into the tribe, Jack and Ben. <laughs> hey, how are you, Ben? Hey, how are you, Jack? Fine, thanks. How are you? <laughs> 
Hey Hawaii is the official greeting of the Minotaur. You're among friends. Silent Thunder, who's prepared a little entertainment for tonight's meeting. Customary at this juncture for new members pick names for each other. Fathers and sons picking Indian names for each other. Most important Indian guide rituals. For example, I'm Running Horse, and this is my son, Dark Eagle. I have a uh, list of pre-approved Indian names. Pre-approved by whom? Mmm, how? I'm uh, just gonna wing it. Little Wing. Good name. Good song, too. Little Wing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, ben, your turn now. <laughs> Something that tells us how you feel about him. How about Squatting Dog? What? Squatting Dog? That's the best you could come up with? I had a squirrel named Num Nuts. <laughs> Jack's new tribal name will be Squatting Dog. Silent Thunder, the floor is yours. <laughs> right. Lloyd's been preparing this all week. <laughs> <laughs> Silent Thunder's a circus performer. He likes to express himself without words. Bootleg Marcel Marceau. Oh, look at them playing old Tekken. Adults are so easy to figure out it's scary. But he hated it, right? Oh, totally. Aren't arcades kind of making a comeback? <laughs> There's a big dopey camp out this Saturday night. I'll never understand why you white people like to sleep outside on the ground. You catch no brothers doing that. <laughs> you can't really generalize to say all black folks. Most of them, though, don't camp, because out in the woods with the bugs and all that stuff. I told Jack that all the other fathers were dressing up like authentic Indians. He was a devil, man. Right, juicy burgers coming up. Hey, Jack. Nice costume. We usually don't get dressed up except for really big special occasions. I happen to have this lying around in my closet anyway. I guess I misunderstood. I hope you're not mad at me. <laughs> no harm, no foul. You a lawyer. You know he up to no good. Razzle dazzle them. And they'll never catch why. Uh, it's not really paint, just watercolor. Good, because I have a tendency to break out. Don't worry, I checked the label. Let's have a grapefruit relay. Yeah! How about it, Jack? Yeah. You up for it? I could probably pop around the Sturgis' skull from right here. We gotta make this look like an accident. Thing don't come back on my old man. That is a really bad orange tan. It's bad. Go! Come on! Come on! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't want to do it in front of the others. Norman told me you're not really Ben's father. What I'm trying to say is, I'm not Norman's father either. I'm a stepfather. Uh, isn't that costume a rental? If you ever need any advice for anything. I appreciate it. I really appreciate it. All right, I think I'm doing fine on my own, really. Can't get any worse than this. The U.S. Attorney's appearance here indicates a complete lack of respect by the federal government for our case. Leonard. Really, this is just a rash. It looks a lot like war paint, Jack. Good God, Jack, this is the 90s. Haven't you heard of political correctness? Look at that, 1995. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to take you off the case. It's not just the rash. You've canceled meetings. You're unprepared. I explained that to you. No, I know, the uh, the Indian thing with the stepson. It's taken up a lot more of my time than I thought it would. Frankly, I don't care. I suggest you get your priorities in order. I've been working with the U.S. Attorney's Office 15 years. I've never been taken off a case. Aww. This morning. Couldn't you just give it another chance? I mean, I can either be a United States attorney or an Indian guide's father. And you are not sexually attracted to an Indian guide's father. Just when I was beginning to have fun and make new friends, he wants to quit. There's lots of other things you and Jack can do together. I told you it was going to be just like Dad. I told you this was going to be a difficult adjustment for Ben to make. I'm an expert. I've got all the books on this subject. I'm doing the best I can. For your kid. Well, it doesn't seem to be good enough, Excuse does it? Excuse me? For your kid. No wonder you're single. You're driving people away. You want me to grab my shit? Yeah. This is all happening too soon. Maybe I should wait until Ben is older and able to handle this better. Or you should have made it a gradual move. She cultivated this environment. You really think you made a mistake? Because if you do, I'll move back to my place. But you still yes, have your I place. I would still have my place, too. Just have to rearrange my schedule so that I can be a U.S. attorney and an Indian guide father. We love her. Sure. Can I get one? Can I get one? What man today would tolerate that? The men today are the grown versions of JTTs. I think I broke the love bubble. And then I went into my upset child act. She told him she was going to wait till I'm older and better able to handle it. Yeah, the guy's history. I figure he'll be back in Tacoma by tomorrow. Mm. 
He actually cared about you. Did you speak to him? He was on the phone. I got a lot of work to do anyway. I'll talk to him in the morning. Your child is a brat. You made him that way. And now you have no love life, no companionship. Boy child who will then become a man, man child, child who will then become a grump child. A fuck boy for those of us who will have to deal with him. She's a female and all females is poison. They're full of wicked wild. They told me in the office you'd be down here. It's amazing how difficult it is for us guys to ask each other for anything, isn't it? Where are the real men? Where are they? Well, it's Ben. i doing everything he can to get rid of me. Frankly, I think he hates my guts. He doesn't hate your guts. He's just scared. Scared you're going to take away the most important thing in his life. His mom. Norman did the very same thing to me. Tried to get rid of me for months. You and Norman seem to have a great relationship now. That's where the Indian guides came in. Helped a lot, actually. See, one of the best ways to reach a kid is to not be afraid to be a kid yourself. Raising kids is one of the most difficult things in the world. But in the end, it's worth it, believe me. Welcome to the club, Jack. Thanks, Chet. Guess what, fellow freckles? We have some exciting news. Two Freckled Friends now has an official Kofi page. Kofi is the best way to stay up to date with what's going on with the channel, as well as being able to make donations or contributions. People have been asking us what's the best way to donate to the channel, and you can do that from Kofi. K-O-F-I.com forward slash Two Freckled Friends. You can choose any type of donation, whether it's one time or monthly. If you're not able to financially contribute, no worries. Brooke and I are having so much fun making these episodes. We're going to make Two Freckled Friends the biggest, best, baddest show it can possibly be. But if you're feeling generous with that tax refund, <laughs> I'm talking to you, Spanky. The website is Kofi, ko-fi.com forward slash two freckle friends. Again, Kofi.com forward slash two freckle friends. We'll also drop the link in the description below. All right, back to the show. Oh, no, oh he can skate backwards. When you leave in the door locked. We've been waiting for you. What are you doing here? I thought you were leaving. Why would I leave? I live here. <laughs> Jack's decided not to quit the Indian guides after all. You're kidding. And to prove it, I'd like you to meet someone. This is Leonard Red Crow. How? Did you just say how? I always like to say that. It makes people laugh. Leonard's the chief of the Salish Indian tribe. I've asked him to help make the Minotaur the best tribe in the whole Indian guide nation. Great. I knew you'd be thrilled. <laughs> You're going to have to learn to loosen up. Hands the air. Come on, say yeah, everybody. No, white people can't dance. Get it? Oh, at all? Okay. Damn. General Custer, Battle of Little Bighorn. <laughs> That's some shit. <laughs> you know what, Dizzy? Y'all are pretty good with the wokeisms in this. Oh, he's got a vest on. I down easy now. They paid big money for the whole song. They are using the whole the song. The whole song. Y'all better. Sing that part. That so they'll know. <laughs> if you can hit, hit that note. I'm a part of that now. <laughs> How long it took to get that? <laughs> Good idea, Chevy. Just give me one. One off the shelf. Ben, you awake? Tire his little butt out. You should get to bed early tonight. We can go to bed right now. I promise it won't take more than a couple of hours. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Jack. Do I have to? Norm's dad told me he doesn't have a lot of friends. This would be kind of a nice gesture. Oh, he's got the fruit and granola and juice. I'll do it. But just this once, okay? Oh, how fun would that be? TP on the rooftop? White privilege! So nice of you invite me to sleep over, Ben. Is this the first time I've ever been invited to sleep over at someone's house? No. Oh. I brought you something. It must have cost you a fortune. I made it myself. <laughs> All the speed work must have taken forever. I haven't much else to do with my time. And I thought you might want to have it. <laughs> Because we're a part of the same tribe and everything. If you don't like it, you can tell me. My feelings won't get hurt. I like it very much, Norm. Thanks. I got an idea. You want to go down to my room and play some video games? Whatever. When you show Gakmo the subhuman on Commander, it looks like a gigantic zit. Kids just want a shot, man. Just want a shot. 
What are you wearing? Why do you have to make the black kid the evil villain? Don't you think you're getting a little heavy with this Indian thing? I knew you were going to get on my case. It's not as bad as we thought. I've learned a lot of cool stuff. And next weekend, we're going on a canoe trip. It's going to be great. Hey, what do you think you're doing? I can't watch this. You're not going to stay and help your friend? Yo! Yo! That must Honestly? be from Tekken. That's okay, Ben. I appreciate the effort. All right, guys, we ready for the big canoe trip? So, Ben, did uh, did Jack mention when he's going to uh, be here? But he promised he'd be here by noon. Then he'll be here. Oh, great. I'm going to be late. <laughs> this is it. My brakes are out. Bye-bye, Sturgis. Whoa! No brakes! Sorry, no brakes! I cut those brake lines clean. He should be dead right now. It's already 1247. I think we should get going. There. Poor Ben. Time to go. Let's load up. Red won't let us wait any longer for Jack. I understand. Whatever's keeping him is going to be pretty important, too. Or he got in an accident. Yeah, or someone tried to kill him and cut his brakes. Wait, why are you just leaving this 11 year old? Take him with you. At least he'll be safe. Hi, honey. She's Where's always Jack doing there? something. Where's Jack? He didn't show up. I'm sure there's an explanation. He wouldn't do anything like that. Just like you knew dad wouldn't do anything like that. Now what? look, you got to stop with that bullshit. Now, I'm not super big into whippings anymore, but sometimes... Marlon, outside. Go. Get a switch. I was! You start whining before you get the switch. God, what happened to you? You got caught in a sudden downpour. Really got soaked. Why don't you just tell the truth? He don't want to scare her. I'm really sorry I missed the canoe trip, Ben. Car trouble. I just couldn't make it. What happened was unavoidable. But without meaning to, you broke a promise to him. What? He is something his father used to do to him all the time. Why am I paying for so his So you're taking it out on him. I guess I have to pay for all hey. the mistakes his father made, darling. I'm afraid it goes with the territory. What? The fuck it does? Can you tell them that somebody just tried to kill you? I'm gonna make this up to you. I swear. You know the 4th of July camping trip is coming up? Well, I give you my word. We're gonna go. We're gonna have the best time we've ever had. That was no accident you had. According to the police report, the brake lines on your car were cut. Transferred you to the Portland office for a while. Forget it, Bob. Can't do it. This isn't a negotiation. It's an order. Mind telling me what's more important than staying alive? A camping trip with Ben. Can I? This what? isn't real. This shit isn't real. They don't exist. Look again. Great idea. What do you want to think? How about Louie Louie. Where the hell they come from? He's still He's mad. Still mad? You want to give me a hand? No, I'd rather not. My back's sore. I'll ask somebody else then for help. Hey, Lloyd, can you help me out? Let's make him laugh. We'll have this up in no time. Lloyd says it in a New York minute. <laughs> I'm all right. Need these for the, uh... Make sure they're the same height. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Good job. Thanks, Lloyd. Might as well settle in. We're gonna have to spend the night. Y'all didn't prepare? Why are y'all in suits? What do I wear? What, what do I say? What do I wear? Well, it doesn't get much better than this, eh, guys? Hey, anybody feel like a story? Yeah. Uh, many moon ago was young Lakota brave name Young Crab. Father skip camp with secretary take care of mother named Lots of Hair. <laughs> Build new life. One day, Lots of Hair bring home Lakota warrior name looks so darn good. <laughs> Young Crab not like looks so darn good. He ruin happy life Young Crab have with lots of hair. Him just scared, do same thing as father. Looks so darn good must prove himself trustworthy. Trust funny thing, no matter how hard one tries, sooner or later bound to screw up. Not me too. Hey, who happened? <laughs> <laughs> now what can guys learn from this story? You have to learn to have faith in people. Even if sometimes they disappoint you. seen Ben? I asked him to go down to the creek and fill up the canteens. Come on, Tony, get out of the water. We're gonna ruin your suit. After we kill this Sturgis guy, maybe we'll come back here and do this again. Jack! 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 
What's the matter? There's some guys over there in suits fishing. One of them said they came up here to kill you. Come on, Tony. Y'all are terrible. I thought you just had some car trouble. Just didn't tell you how much. Didn't want to worry you or your mom. Sorry, I tried to do the right thing. Some guys followed me up here. They're sort of after me. I sent a man to prison for 50 years, and his son's a little upset about it. You and the boys head back down to the ranger station to try to get help. I'll lead them further up the mountain until you get back. Little guides, let's move out. I'll go around this way and meet you on the other side. Why is everybody talking so loud? I got you now, Sturgis. The fun is about to begin. I want some macaroni and cheese. Kazoon Tai. <coughs> now we're gonna have to slow him up until the others get back with help. Well, Red Crow told me, just listen to nature. Okay, I'll listen. You're pretty calm to about to be killed. Oh no. Thank you, Red Crow. Hold on, don't get away from me. Ah, Indian stuff. Got him. <laughs> Let's do it. Behind! Ah, Tony! You know, we really ought to think about changing my name. How about dead me? No. I expected something better than this from you. She has a complete lack of imagination. <laughs> bye bye, Sergeant! Harry, <laughs> <laughs> put a bullet in his head. It is illegal to possess firearms in a state park. I'm gonna have to confiscate those weapons. They got little bows and arrows. You got guns. Shoot them! No more playing around, so Joey. Ooh. Those are the weirdest bunch of guys I ever met. I like them. Couldn't just let them kill you. My mom wants to keep you around for a while. Yes, I do too. Let's go home. Is it okay if I marry your mom? You've been going through all that shit and you want to marry her right now? Any bad habits I should know about? Sometimes I use a spoon and put it right back in the drawer. Um, Let me change my turn. Come here, look what you've done. It's a circle. Mom? Sandy! Well, what do you know? It's done. Uh, oh yeah, this was the shit in that commercial. Oh, y'all not gonna play the whole song? Uh oh. I let Jack marry my mother. It seemed only fair after what I put him through. Mm-hmm. Norman still gets stuffed into his locker almost every day. Oh, poor baby. But with me around, at least now I have some company. And my mom, I never saw her so happy. Disney paid him good royalties. Let's give it a freckle score. Alrighty, it's time for Brooke and I to give Man of the House its official freckle score. I have a different perspective after watching this film because my mindset present day, a single millennial woman in America who probably doesn't pay her student loan debt, I'm seeing Farrah Fawcett just fall into all of the privileges and goodness of the world. A downtown loft apartment to waltz into, to be a visual artist, sculptor, welder, just to live freely. Grabbing seashells by the seashore, falling into a US attorney, never married, no kids, who is eager to be a positive stepfather and role model in your badass, spoiled chap life, I have the awareness to know if that was in my life present day, oh, we fighting for the relationship. I'm not letting no chap tell me who can and can't be in my bed. I pay for your bed. I pay for your computer. I pay for your video games. I 
pay for your trousers. I pay for your fruit and granola and yogurt breakfast. You ain't gonna say shit to me. Your father as a husband was trash. And I'm gonna need you to stop holding that over my head and over other potential suitors' heads because this is not an A-list situation to come into. I'm not gonna have blonde, wavy hair and a nice smile forever. And you acting like a little shit right now, so you need to get it together. This is probably the first- <laughs> You're cursing your imaginary kid out right now. You're badass imaginary <laughs> kid out right now. This is the first Disney family drama that I've seen in quite some time. Like a real drama. The humor didn't carry the film, nor did it need to carry it. There were a lot of good quality messages in present day that you could get from this film. Chevy, a real one. He was never violent. He was always embracing the good. The fact that the man moved stuff around his job, changed his own lifestyle to accommodate her and Ben. Where can I find a Sturgis? If you really pay attention, there's a lot of little nuggets that are juicy. Let me find a man who's trying to make me breakfast. It's not the fact that the food probably won't taste the greatest. It's the effort. I can't buy effort from McDonald's. I buy convenience. Effort is priceless. I will give this movie three and a half out of five freckles. Finally watching it now, I realized I don't think I ever watched this whole thing before. I was a child of newly divorced parents. My mother recently remarried. I had a new stepfather. So this holds a different sentimental weight to me. Farah, you are what's wrong with men today. Yes, Farah, you, you are the reason these men expect for us to court them. You are the reason why men expect us to chase them. You are the reason why men expect for us to cook, clean, and pay their bills. You are the reason why men are lazy and why they are still boys in man form because you over there raising trash, toxic, fuck boys to become men that we gonna have to deal with. I ain't doing it no more. Making me shake off my damn headphones. I ain't doing it no more. All starts with they mama creating issues. Even if the daddy leaves, even if the daddy leaves, the mama can still do her job. Yeah! That's my State of the Union applause. Yeah! That's annoying as shit. Like, I, the whole time I was watching that, like, oh, that's what I'm dealing with now. All these guys, if I ever date them and they do this bullshit, it's PTSD from when they were 10 years old. JTT was talking about his mama, you know, sexual peak in her 30s. Like, more than likely, she's playing like she's our age right now. She's over here finding this amazing once in a lifetime man while living in that loft with like no money, with a job that don't pay no money. We know it don't pay no money. And she's still able to find a man. I'm fucking till I'm 92, minimum. Okay, I'm a Jew. That fight choreography at the end, that kind of blew my score. Like they were doing good until it got to that. My score, I give it a 4.25. This may actually be my first live action, non-holiday film that has scored within the four ranking. We're changing lives. What freckle on a time, baby? What freckle at a time? Let's go! Drop in the comments below if you've seen Man of the House and your thoughts on this episode. And we appreciate you tuning in to Two Freckle Friends. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel by clicking on that red button, as well as tapping on that bell icon to stay up to date with the latest notifications as to when we drop new episodes. You wanna watch this again? I'll watch it again with you. I feel like there's some other nuggets in there that we missed because we were so pissed at Farrah. I'm telling you, there are oh, nuggets yeah, in this shit. film. Crystal Light. Uh, not the Crystal Light commercial. <laughs>